Chapter 4 Pending Orders Theory In this module, we will explain how pending orders are placed. A pending order is an instruction to buy or sell a currency pair at a predefined price in the future. Pending orders are only executed when the price of the symbol reaches the value at which they were originally placed, otherwise they do not get activated. Moreover, you can decide on the expiration date of a pending order. If the price does not reach the required level within a certain time frame, MT4 automatically deletes the order. First, let's see some more details about pending orders. When placing a pending order, there's always a current price. In our example, we will call it price now. Every price is always represented with two quotes. All buy orders are opened at ask price and closed at bid price. Accordingly, every sell order is open at the bid price and closed at the ask price. If you decide to open an order now, you will need to choose only between two options, buy or sell. As we mentioned before, the pending order is set at the future price, not at the price now. So we have two possibilities. The future price will be either higher or lower than the price now. For both higher and lower future price, you can place two order types, buy or sell. And they both need to be set according to the ask and the bid prices. This presents you with the choice of four possible types of pending orders. If you expect the future price to get higher than the price now, you should decide about placing a buy order. Or once it reached the future price and it starts to fall, you should place a sell order. If you expect the future price to be lower than the price now, you should assess if the price will continue going down and place a sell order. Or once it reached the lower future price and it starts to rise, you should place a buy order. These four pending order types are called buy stop, sell limit, buy limit and sell stop. Let's have a closer look at these pending order types. All orders need to be placed at a certain distance, that is value, from the price now. This distance is called stop limit level, with each instrument having its own specific value, and they can be found on our XM website. For example, if you wish to view the Forex spreads, you can click on Forex under the Instruments section, which redirects you to the current spreads of the selected instrument. You will learn more about these values in our module called Pending Orders Practice. Let's start with the graph representation of the buy stop order type. Buy orders are opened at the ask price and closed at the bid price. The buy stop order needs to be opened at a higher future ask price. To make a profit on this type of order, the closing bid price needs to be higher than the opening ask price. Next comes the sell limit order. All sell orders are opened at the bid price and closed at the ask price. Sell limit orders must be opened at a higher future bid price. To make a profit on this type of order, the closing ask price must be lower than the opening bid price. The next pending order type is buy limit. All buy orders are opened at the ask price and closed at the bid price. Buy limit orders should be opened at the lower future ask price. To make a profit on this type of order, the closing bid price needs to be higher than the opening ask price. The fourth type of pending order is sell stop. All sell orders are opened at the bid price and closed at the ask price. Sell stop orders should be opened at the lower future bid price. To make a profit on sell stop orders, the closing ask price needs to be lower than the opening bid price. In our next module, we will explain to you how to place pending orders. Thank you for watching.